Out of all the different things that are important for health, like nutrition and lifestyle habits, the mind-body connection is equally as important. You see, every time we have a thought, we create something called a neuropeptide. And our immune system has white blood cells. Our white blood cells have receptors for neuropeptides. The neuropeptide that we create every time we have a thought goes to that white blood cell, the little receptor, and tells the white blood cell what to do and it'll tell it either one thing or another. So when we have negative thoughts, such as hate, jealousy, rage, sadness, fear, stress, like you can think of all these negative thoughts, we create a neuropeptide that goes to the white blood cell, and when it goes to that white blood cell, it depresses its function, tells us not to go out and kill bacteria and other pathogens, and we have a weak immune system. So even if you're eating all the best foods and you're doing all that you can do to have proper lifestyle habits, if you're going around constantly with negative thoughts and negative emotions, you're constantly creating neuropeptides that depress your immune system. and You're not going to get the results that you should. So on the other side of the coin, when you have positive thoughts, and you can think of all the positive thoughts, and I group them as coming all from a place of love, the neuropeptides created from that positive thoughts goes to the white blood cell and turns that white blood cell into a ninja. <laughs> it goes out and it gets really, really energized and kills the bacteria and any other pathogens going around, keeps us really healthy. So if we just think about the negative thoughts, all those ones that I just mentioned, I can take all those negative thoughts and put them into one group. It's coming from a place of fear. Because if you think about why am I stressed? Well, I'm afraid of this happening. Or why am I this? Or why am I that? It always leads back to its final place is a fear thought. And what does fear stand for? F-E-A-R. False evidence appearing real. Fear only exists if you allow it to exist in your mind. If your mind is strong enough, you can overcome that fear and you can stay positive. Okay, so something really bad happens. Someone dies. Well, I think to myself, I personally believe in God and a higher power. So I say, okay, it was meant to be. I may never understand why that happened, but it's for the greater good of humanity. So you grieve a little bit and then you let it go. Or let's say you get a flat tire and you're late to go somewhere. Well, maybe if you didn't get that flat tire, you would have ran over someone and killed them. So a lot of these negative things that happen, I believe are happening for a greater purpose, and maybe we'll never understand that in this lifetime, but whatever it is, just let it go, and be blessed that you have what you have, and be thankful. If you think of all the wonderful things you have, all the good things, you could really boost up that, that happiness, and we all have a lot more than we really need. If you think about what you really need, what are the essentials? There are very few things. Air, water, food, shelter, not really too much more. All the rest is extra. Here I am, standing in front of the house that took me about two years to build with the help of my friends. And as you can see, it's been burnt to the ground. The wildfires in Bastrop, Texas took about 1,600 homes. And talking about the mind-body connection, what happened to me was that the stress from knowing everything I worked for for two years had been burnt up, it caused me to not be able to digest anything. My digestive system completely shut down for about a week and I was only able to eat small amounts of food and basically liquids. And I had to go through a grieving process. So I grieved, I processed it, and it took about a week and then I got past it. And I realized, hey, I can build it better than it was before. Instead of having wood beams and posts, now I can rebuild it with steel beams and posts. And I could make it completely fireproof the next time. I could design it a little better than it was before. And two years from now, I'll be standing in front of a beautiful home that's way better than the first one was. And knowing that I was able to get past 
this thing and process it and bring it forward also allows me to know that I have the ability to evolve and to grow in, in spirituality and in character. As they say, when you go through things like this, it just makes you a little bit tougher, a little bit stronger, a little smarter, and you learn lessons. So all in all, it will end up being a good thing that happened, and I learned from my mistakes the first time, and we'll build it much better the second time.